I know personally mm-hmm. that, that when I approach you know the rehearsal period, mm-hmm. um, my thinking goes from great, I've got the job. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I relax a bit. Mm-hmm. And then when I notice that first date of rehearsal arriving, mm-hmm. I start to go, ooh, <laughs> I, I, better, I better prepare because um, I think we're motivated by two things. One is fear and one is pleasure. Mm-hmm. And we either do things because we really enjoy doing them or mm-hmm. we do things because the fear of not doing them propels us into the work. <laughs> and, and, and the fear of, of, of standing amongst your peers and not knowing yeah. what you're doing on a character I often find is a terrific motivating factor. Yeah. Do you find that? And I guess, the, the, broadly speaking, has your thinking intensified as we got closer to rehearsal? Um. Yeah, basically, um, I uh, have. I've, it's it's a bit of both, I think, for me. So a lot of the research that I've done up until this point has actually got nothing to do with Roxy as a character. Um, but I, I had uh, a director at um, the Actors Program, uh, Ben Henson, who gave me the best piece of advice that I still work with when I do research towards a project. Is sort of like research what excites you. And if that is, you know, about the world, if that's about the era, just do where that excites you. Because there's no point powering through, you know, three hours of looking, trying, trying to figure out what prison was like in the 1920s in Chicago. When if if it's just like I'm not getting anywhere and it's not exciting me. So most of the research that I've actually done has been about vaudeville in general. I'm like what that was like and um, the fact that these two women actually existed. You know, they're based on real people. They're based on really real trials. And even though. Um, for example, so the original Roxy Hart, uh, Beulah Anan, was not a performer by any means. She, she didn't want to be in vaudeville. That's something that was added on. Um, and so, you know, and she was from, um, oh God, I've forgotten now, but somewhere southern um, that doesn't, Kentucky, Kentucky. So that doesn't make sense in terms of the way the, the Roxy Hart character is written. Um, but I still find that really fascinating, and everything else is is pretty much bang on. She, you know, she shot her husband. She, oh, this is so interesting. She shot her husband. The sorry, the man that she was having an affair with, three times in the back, um, and then they still somehow managed to spin that they both reached for the gun, even though like you know, modern day would be like, um, yeah. hold on. She changed her story many times. She pretended to be pregnant. All of that is true. But just something that I find so fascinating about her, about her as a person um, is that after she shot him, so they would they were pissed they were drunk after she shot him she put on the same foxtrot record for four hours and just drunk gin until before she called her husband to come home oh my god and i just find that so fascinating like what what state of mind was this person in who had just done that and just kind of just drunk gin just drunk gin and so it's it's those the the pre research like that for me is finding little bits that I found really interesting about those characters, those real people, and the era and the vaudeville thing and all of that, and trying to bring that into um, into play when I start thinking about her as a person. Cool. Yeah. 